operate the waiting launch orders. Welcome, Admirals, to another episode of Master of the Fleet. You're joined once again by your Intel Officer Luke, bringing you Moff Dan, Ellie, who is the Sydney Regional Champion. Uh, I'm going to be pretty much running the same fleet, and then, funnily enough, Dan has brought like a similar fleet, but a far more nightmarish version. So, yeah, let's just dive in. Just a squadron. Yeah, squadron rise is going to be terrible. You'll, you'll see. Let's dive into it. And that's right, we're back at the Games Cube again at Parramatta. We come here a lot. And today it's been run by... We've got Chris. Say hello, Chris. Hey boys, how you going? Hi. Alright, so this is, for like a bit of a first on the channel, this is the exact same fleet that I took last time. So for those of you who don't recall, it's uh, two, two gladiators, three flotillas, and a whole bunch of squads. Um, I'll quickly go through it again, but it is in the last battle report as well. So I have a Gladiator 1 with uh, Demolisher Engine Techs, Intel Officer, APTs, Ordnance Experts, all that goodness. I have another Gladiator, basically the same, except without Intel Officer and with Insidious instead of Demolisher. I have a Flotilla with Puzzle, as its lifeboat wagon, a Flotilla with Vector, a Naked Flotilla, uh, Darth Vader, Marek Steel, Colonel Jendon, a regular TIE Advanced, three TIE Defenders, and Sabre Squadron. So again, pretty much exact same as last time. My fleet really just kind of wants to be using its activation advantage, setting up those close range punchings with Demolisher and Insidious. And then basically I just kind of want to dominate opposing squads with my squads and then hopefully towards the end start bombing away. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be interesting. Dan's fleet, a little bit cancerous in the squadron department. So we'll see how we go. But anyway, my fleet total, because we always forget to do this, is 391. Or 39, no, it's 392. I've got an 8 point right, So this is Moff Dan. So this is a fleet I'm taking here. So I got one Gladiator, one Architan, one Raider, two Gazantes, and a couple of fighters here. Uh, so we look at the Gladiator, it's got Engine Text, Demolisher, APTs and Ordnance Experts, but it doesn't have Intel Officer, so I took that off. Going down, the Architan's got Captain Nita, TRCs, and try to get you know, more hits out of that. Uh, the Raider, Agent Callus, Fletcher Torpedoes, Ordnance Experts. Uh, Moff to Jared is on a Gazanti with Expanded Hangar Bays, and the other one has just got Expanded Hangar Bays by itself. The squadrons, however, this is where Luke is uh, very happy with this, I'm sure. It's got Power Runner, Sienna Ray, Mauler Mythyl, Silty FL and Danger, so braces and scatters everywhere with two Lambda class shuttles. Boom. <laughs> the overall strategy is the Gladiator and Architan is going to fly in, turn in hard and try to do as much damage as they can. Uh, the Radar try to help out the squadrons with the Fletcher torpedoes, depending how many fighters there were, and the two Gazantis just to help command the squadrons. That's the overall strategy. The total points for this fleet is 395. Yeah, yeah. So with my, my beard that we actually talked about before this time, uh, I've decided to go first. So Dan, what have we got? So we've got most wanted, superior positions, and hyperspace assault. All right. Uh, unsurprisingly, I generally make my decisions off camera, so I already decided to go with hyperspace assault uh, because no, and then also he put that on demo. But then Ken has helpfully informed me that he recently played Dan with this exact mission, with this exact list, and he was like, "Oh man, I got actually just wrecked." So I'm really looking forward to this. This is great. Thanks for telling me afterwards, Ken. It was really good. I promise to be gentle. <laughs> I make no such promises. <laughs> Alright guys, this is something new we're trying, let us know what you think, uh, hopefully it'll look good. Okay, this is the start of turn one, let's have a look at the board state up close. Well, if it's raining outside, come in the store to play games instead. Oh, yes. 
the calm before the storm. <laughs> Glad I could ruin that. All right, because we've got to do it. Just so you have an idea of what stuff is on the board. This is Vector. This is Demolisher. This is Insidious. This is the Naked Gazanti. And then this one on the outside is Ozzel. All right, so for my first activation, I'm going to reveal Insidious, who's going to reveal a Nav Command, which I'm going to bank as a token. And then I'm just going to go forward at speed one without any deviation of movement. Oh, that's right. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Jared. He's doing a Scorching Command. He's going to bank the token. And then he's just going to move two straight ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Um, Alright, next activation I'm going with uh, Ozla. Ozla is revealing a navigate, which I'm going to take as a command, and then totes Ozla way up to speed 3 using the extra click at the distance 3. And that's my move. Next, we got the generic Gazani doing a squadron command, it's going to bank the token. And at speed 2, he will just Nosey on down the back lines. Alright, gonna go with Vector next. Vector is gonna reveal a squadron command, which it's gonna bank as a token. Staying at speed three, because obviously. And I'm just going to go, I'm just gonna pull Marek out of here so I can do this. Uh, I'm just going three straight. Next we've got the radar who's doing a navigate which will bank the token. Now at speed two he's gonna be bumping Cynthia Fell. And whoop, anyone else? Nope. Uh, just Shield Dallas Gun and Dengar. And Dengar. Alright. Well, let's let's put some TFL in here. Oh no! Uh, Speed five, whatever. Yeah, we what, do. what what you what will you do, Dan? And I'll put Dengar in because you know, what? Actually, no. Wait. Oh, Dengar, oh, fuck you. <laughs> does he give just kind of sweet? He does. He just gives cannon everything. Uh, God, God, I hate you, Dengar. <laughs> Alright, uh, the Naked Good Mountain X is really a squadron command. It's gonna bank it. Come here. It's just gonna turn slightly at the speed one. And done. Arc 10 is gonna reveal a navigate. It's gonna reduce his speed to two. Just use the extra click on one, just slightly move behind the station, because I don't like where that demo is at the moment. That's fair. That's pretty fair. Going with Demolisher next, revealing a navigate, going to jump to speed two, and jumping to there. Alright, done. Alright, so start of my squadron phase. Uh, I'm going to go with an advance and a defender. I'm going to go another defender, actually, yeah, yeah. another defender, Genman. I'm not confident I need it. Later. Yeah, he's on the Yep. And Max Steel. Yep. 
Okay, this is the start of turn two. This is what the board state looks like. Alright, it's up to Dan if he's going to hyperspace or not. Let's see what he does. Alright, this is where Dan's coming into hyperspace. Sorry, coming out of hyperspace. Hey, what's going for your mind, Luke? Oh man, I really, this is probably what's scaring me more, I'm not too fussed over here yet, like it'll be bad soon, but Dan, Dan's fleet is really nasty, he has, he has Relay 4 and he has two ships that are now can command 4 squadrons, and with the quality that they are, if I let him get the, the Alpha Strike, I'll probably lose, so I think I really need to just commit and just get the Alpha Strike. Um, but that doesn't make me feel better about it. <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty crappy for me anyway. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I hope. Come on. No guts, no glory. Bring it. That's it. No Bring it. Bring it. That's it. All right, so we're going to be going with Vector first. We talked about this. I think I need to get the Alpha Strike, so let's do it. I'm revealing a squadron command. I'm going to be burning my token so I can command three. Uh, we're going to start off with Lean Mean, Fighting Machine, Darth Vader himself. Uh, I'm basically going to be placing so that I should only be in distance one of the shuttle and HAL runner. I can't avoid them, but hey. Alright, so shooting the shuttle. Yep. Uh, let's do this. Come on, Vader. Uh, do you want to... Yeah, we'll roll that around. Oi! Five. Five. <laughs> Alright. That is a good start on the Relay Kill mission. Counter? Counter, counter one, because it's got Dengar. Does oh, nothing. nothing. All right, this is off to a flyer. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, Vader is normally pretty brutal. Yeah, well, v Vader is pretty, pretty fantastic. Alrighty, 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 alright. So I can do the same. I can get a defender out here. Oh. All right, so I'm going to activate this defender and get him to out here. So he's in distance one of the shuttle and Mola Mythyl. So two blue, two black. My papa needs a new pair of dead lamb of shuttles for four damage. That's pretty tight. That's that's pretty obscene. Four, count of one. Count of one. Ah, nothing. nothing yet. All right, and then I'm going to activate and activate another defender. Oh, another defender. Yeah. Uh, I really need them to die, so I'm actually going to be a bit bold. And I'm going to activate Marek, because then it's a, <laughs> it's a guaranteed kill no matter what. So yeah, Marek's going to go in. You watch, he'll roll really good anyway. Yeah, so it dies. So three down, and then counter. So he dies, but he's got counter one. Got counter. Hey, one. does the damage. And I take one. All right. There you go. Oof. Oof. And then I don't think anyone's in range of flak. Maybe Suntier. Oh, yeah. Maybe Suntier. I think Suntier is the only one. Let's have a look. Yep, I totally knocked. Everything, everything can. <laughs> yeah, so Suntier yeah, would have been. Suntier would have been. All right, so we'll shoot. You might as well. I think I've got a laser. Laser, laser. Dan, can I break laser? Thank you. I don't think I have double. No. Dream on. One black. One damage. You're going to scatter it, Dan? I'll have to bring it up now. I'll oh, just bring up your tokens. Yeah. Just the tokens. Um, I'm going to scatter the one. Considering what's about to come, probably. Scatter. Oh, sorry, scatter. Try to keep as much health as I can. All right. So then that's that. And then I just need to move. Um, I really don't want to land there, but it looks like I'm going to land there. Hang on. So let's... You know what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get real crazy. Let's get real crazy. Oh man, that's like asking for a dead ship. It's asking for a dead ship. <laughs> Why do I have to be speed three? All right, let's do it like that. So we're gonna go like that, and I will totally have landed on Vader because I just bumped him. Yep. But there's really not much worse bots you can put in. 
Maybe now, I guess. All right. Should be fine. All right, that's my activation. They're fine. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a good commander stays calm, even in the face of adversity. <laughs> oh, boy. Whew. I feel better. Now it's in damage. All right. Let's see if we can do some damage back. So Moff is going to do a squadron command. I will only activate four, but one sort of went down real quick. So I'm only going to activate two of them. I'm going to activate Cynthia Fell first. Good plan. And he's going to try and do some damage back to Zeta. So four blue with a reroll. You have four. Oh, five. No, five blue with five a reroll. Thank you, how runner, you bitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Oh, you never know. Uh, uh, swarm? Yep. So that was, that was a damage. A damage. That was a uh, So just targeting one of the braces. So three. I'll brace and I'll take two. So down to three. And then your next one. Next, we're going to send yep. in... Sienna. Sienna Ree. Yep. So same there. again. Same, same again. Five dice. Yep. Uh, oh, that's bad. Um, ooh. You're better off. You're better off re-rolling the accuracy. Because if you get a hit, I die. Take three. Yeah. Yep. Might as well gamble that. Shouldn't have told him that. Yay! Hey. So I'll brace, and I'm down to one. Oh boy. Vader, I love you. <laughs> you take the hits that no one else can take. All right, so for movement, he's actually going to jerry himself, taking a damage from the shield to get extra to click on one. And he's going to fly in close as so he command the squadrons normally. Natively. I like it. All right, so I'm going with Ozzel next. Let's finish the job. We've got a squadron command, we're going to relay over to here. Um, so I will activate this defender. I was an idiot and left Saber Squadron out of range because, like, hey, I'm an idiot. Um, so I'm just actually just going to go to there. Wherever I can get to. Oh, do I need to take that Sun Tier damage? I think I might. Yep. Uh, actually, I think I can just go into that. Like that, yeah, so that's fine. Avoiding the shit out of stuff. So two black, two blue, into the lambda shuttle. Kills him. Jesus Christ, I've been rolling hard. Count of one. Count of one. Nothing. Nothing. So, nothing, yeah. So he just dies, he gets vaporized. Um, and for my second trick, I will activate this defender. I'm just going to leapfrog. Uh, yeah, sorry. I pushed your little activation dial. And he's going to shoot Dengar. Come on, accuracy, three damage. Two damage. You going know, you know, to scatter that? Yeah, I think he's going to scatter that. So he scatters that, no counter because he's Dengar himself, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, so then staying at speed three, just moving away from the combat to there. Done. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go with the generic Gazani. I was going to do a squadron, but unfortunately all my shuttles are gone. So he's just going to fly a measly two heading towards the squadron. So hopefully he can get in there to help command as well. That's him done. Generic's going to go, hey look, it's a squadron command. Also, I realized that banking a squadron token with this was dumb and I should have banked a nav token. But I'm an idiot. It's fine. I'm going to activate two squadrons. Uh, we're going to activate... Oh man. Oh man, I'm going to be taking Suntia damage. Fuck. Fuck you, Suntia. It's alright. It's better than shooting you. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to cop, cop the Suntia damage, and I'm going to throw a 3 blue into Dengar. Get your exhausted scatter ready. I will accuracy your brace. Ooh. That's a bit of an interesting one. Yeah, man. It'll be fine, it'll take two. It'll take two, all right. All right, now show me three damage, Ken, and an accuracy as I jump as I jump gender to, yeah, you can jump to like here. And 
He's gonna double. He's gonna act, second activate that guy. There it is. He calls and it is answered. So I'll accuracy your scatter. Sure, I'll brace and take two. And you die. All right. This has been an insane. Okay, can, can we can we pan up? I've literally rolled like fucking perfect every squadron roll. This would never happen. Dan kicks my ass with these scatter heroes like nothing. I played him like ten, what ten games you reckon in the last like Something two like two that. months, and he's won like eight of them handily. He just comes in and they're just like scatter, scatter, and now it's this is finally coming to roost. <laughs> I'm on a hot streak, damn it! I'm on a hot streak. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. Nah, I feel like this is bull- this is a- everyone at home. This is a bullshit rolling. It's no, like, fine. The raid is coming soon. <laughs> the raid is coming. Actually, that's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Speed one. Speed one. Done. It's all good. All right. So next we're gonna go with the radar. He's gonna reveal a navigate. But first we're gonna anti squad up the front. Are you so taking it as a command or? No, I'll take it as a command. We've okay, already yep. got the token. Yep. Uh, we're gonna so anti squad these two. They're the only ones in range. Yeah. So Marek and this guy are just out. Yep. Two black on the defender. So on that defender. Uh, one damage. One, one, one six experts. Two damage. Two damage. So take two. And the generic advance. Yep. He takes two. Two damage. Yeah. Done. Now, movement. He's going to reduce speed and go to speed one. Ooh. Shit. <laughs> and park himself right there. Boo. <laughs> Flesh out torpedoes are going to hurt. <laughs> Right. So he's down to so we're going to go with Demolisher next. Uh, I'm going to reveal a Navigate, which I'm going to take as a command. I'm going to use it to jump to speed 3. So we'll lock in this move. So Dan, you want to just pull that Defender out because I'm 100% clearly going to land on it. Yeah. Uh, so you need to place it now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to check my art first if I have a shot. Might as well. Oh. Hmm. See you later, mate. Uh, I'll, I'll engine tech because I want to shoot. Alright, do you want to right, so we're gonna engine tech like this after much, much more deliberation. Uh, but this gives me side to rear, which I'm gonna be. Ooh, I'm gonna be taking that. <laughs> Alright, so get your brace ready. And I will grab. I will grab a dash. Bunch of dices. So four black dice to your rear. Alright, so four black dice to the rear. I'm gonna declare an intel officer for five damage. And I'm gonna target your brace. And I'll leave it as is. Take five. Same as it is? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm three, I'm going to have to, so I'll brace. Yep, so you brace. So, the APT. So the APT, yep. APT is blinded gunners, you cannot spin out. Okay. Ooh, can I spin And then uh, two. Three. So two and a face down. Face down. Pretty good, pretty good, all things told. Alright, that's that. All right, we're going to go with the Architect next. It's going to reveal a Navigate. It will take that as a command. Yep. And we're going to shoot our side into the rear of Demolisher. I'll hopefully get some damage through. Three red. So three red. <laughs> Oof. And, um, then we will... TRC. TRC. Yep. That into a double. double. Right. So five damage. Pretty tight of three red dice. So I will spend an evade to make you re-roll the double. Yeah. Alright, so you can't so that's, that's gone. Yep. Um three damage. You're gonna try and swing in. I still think it's probably better. I'm just going to redirect, and I'm going to redirect to my far side. So, zero, and zero. Done. Alright, so, I was tempted to go right, but unfortunately I'll be in the side arc of Demolisher, which is very, very bad. So I'm going to go start heading left, and start heading towards Insidious and his other two Kazamis. So I'm going to go Jerry, on speed one to get the two clicks, use his nav to get a click on two, and then fly straight on three. So he will take the damage on his left shield. Yep. Yeah, there. That stations. Yeah, so it's roughly there. 
and we'll end up up there. So now he's speed three. Okay, so last but not least, uh, Insidious is going to go. Insidious is going to reveal to navigate. So, which I'm going to take as a command. Uh, we also like to point out that I totally, in my excitement earlier, forgot to fire my two blues. And I have the painful suspicion that that will be relevant. Anyway, uh, we're out of close range because Dan's a jerk and was, you know, sort of genius without realizing it by waiting for me to come into his close range. So two red from my front to his front. Cool, I roll one. Do you want to make me re-roll it, Dan? You know what? Why not? Let's see you re-roll. Alright, double. Here we go. Accuracy. Zero damage. Zero damage. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. I ain't even going to complain about that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to use my nav for the extra click at the two. Oh, sorry, at the one. I'm going to jump to speed two. Now, we've already checked this, so I slot in just. It's a bit annoying because of the teeth of Demolisher. And then I avoid, when we checked it, I avoided Psyduck before. So it's just going to be a little bit of bumpage. Yeah, there we go. Do you want to aim it? No, I don't. No, no. Because I, I can. No, no. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. What's I'm not, the worst that can happen? Uh, lots of things could be really bad in a second. <laughs> <laughs> but this way you only get one arc on me. <laughs> oh boy, this is bad. <laughs> Alright, so my turn with Demolisher. He's going to reveal a navigate, which will take as a command. Yep. So, pretty sure that's close range. Yeah, close, 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 close range. Yeah, totally. I don't know, let's check it. No, no, it's good. Yeah, I reckon we can eyeball that one. Done. Done. Right. Nailed it. Two red, two black. Yep. Shooting into the side. Go for it. Ah! That's cancelled. That's enough to be cancelled. You know what? I'm going to leave it as it is. So take four and APTs. Alright, uh, I'm going to declare a redirect, and that is all. So my APT. Crew panic! Before you reveal a command dial, you must either suffer one damage or discard that dial. Everyone remembers that from demo earlier on. So I'm going to go zero on my side and then one on my front. Yep. Done. So then you're going to move, I'm presuming? Yeah, you're going to move? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought he was going to do, folks at home. So is that speed three? So we're going to... Well, you might just have to... Do, do you want me to mark it? Yeah, yeah. we'll mark it. No, no, we need the... Has anyone got the red? Yeah, we Sweet. Using them... Uh, using them tricks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pull that away. So he's going to go Jerry to get two picks at one. Yep. And then with his nav, nav get an extra click, click on three. three. Yep, beautiful. Just to get in there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Jerry damage, he'll take it on the side. Yep. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be in close. Yep, for sure. So close with your side. And you can either go my side or my front. So I'm going to presume you're going to go my front. Yeah. Front sounds like the best area. Yep, that, that seems pretty reasonable. Can't follow you. So, <laughs> wash it out. Yep. Hey, oh crap, dude, I didn't see that one. Crap. Crap. One, two, three, four, five. Five is good. Uh, Take only the APT, which is still good because then you have no shields. Oh, do I gamble? Nah. Gamble, Dan. Nah, I'm not the gambling type. We'll leave it as it is. So five damage with APT. All right, so I will declare a brace, and I will three. and then I will burn redirect. The APT is damage controls. When you overlap a ship or obstacle, deal one face down damage card to your ship in addition to all other obstacle effects. So you're taking damage when you reveal a dial, taking the damage when you move. It's all bad, Dan. It's all bad. It's pretty much dead. <laughs> no, it's not. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. And then after that, we're going to engine tech. So you're going to engine tech? Yeah. Awesome. Done. What a bloody turn that was. Yep, so I am going to move Saberino over to here. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. Over there. That's right. Yep. Right. So I've got. So you've got two. So you should be even blue then. Ah, he's blue. Yeah, sorry. Yep. I got two, so we got, we'll do Hair on first. Yeah, I'm presuming you're going to shoot Vader and try and kill him. 
Or should I have I'm shot? Gonna, I'm gonna shoot the generic. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So well, you have to shoot Harold, uh, don't you? I mean, Beta, right. don't you? Well, no, it's, it's good good escort vision. as well. It's good, it's good escort. Yeah. 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 So three blue. Because if I'm lucky enough, Mola can just jump in range and go pop up. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> All right. So. That's why he's the veteran. Uh, he's so wise. Halloran into the generic with one reroll. Yeah, that actually doesn't need it. Just no, does bam. three damage. Dead. Dead. Uh, and now we've got Mola. Which Dan was very smart to put on the asteroid jerk that he is. So I'm presuming he's going to move over. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go. Pop and damage of two characters, which sounds good. And it keeps them in a nice little ball. Yeah. All right. So Vader's gone. I love a man, Vader. You get such a rough go, but you soaked up so much damage then. And I think your death really, really helped. I hope. Nice speech. Thank you. Thank you. I try. Uh, is that all? The That's all the turn, yeah. That's all the turn. That's right. it. Alright, top of turn three, this is what the board state looks like. <laughs> Alright, so no, no surprises, gang. We're going with Demolisher first. We're going to reel a navigate, which I'm going to take as a command. I'm going to go side arc into the rear of the radar. Oh. The Raider dies. Uh, Auto sex bets that. Yeah. So you take five, including an APT. No brace. Uh, APT. Capacity. Five, five more. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this badness, this Agent Callus, you know, flechette torpedo doom wagon goes bam. That really needed to happen, otherwise I lose the squad of war. Um, and then let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm probably going to go hunt Jerry. Not Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from him, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, so like I said, I'm going Jerry hunting. Uh, so I'm going to go at speed three with my normal maneuver. I'm going to ram into Jerry, dealing him one damage. So then I land back at the two. Yeah. And then I'm going to declare an engine tech, but then basically I don't move because I ram Jerry a second time. Um... Now, I'm going to see if I can get super lucky, because I've been pretty lucky so far. So I'm going to shoot my front arc into the front of Jerry. And I don't get super lucky, but what I will do is I will intel officer your scatter. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Alright, and yeah, that's it. Done. Wait, why do I have a squadron token? That's all right. So we're going to go with the Arcatine. Arcatine's going to be concentrate fire. Oh, shit! <laughs> Playing bad. All so right. We're going to go side to his front at close range. Okay, so for everyone following along at home, I need him to whiff on all of these dice. There can be no damage on these dice, otherwise I die. So, right. show me. Show yeah, me no... I'm just going to concentrate the red in now. Yep. Um, I'm just... And yeah, that's TRC then to a double just for good measure, shall we? All right, so, so I take no brace and take five. All right, I take five and much like I feared, I go one, two, three, dead, four, five. Super dead. Overkill. Oh, Insidious. I love you. I'm sorry. Insidious, by the way, had medium range on his rear on demo and that really hurts. Oh, it really hurts. And we'll also take a pot shot at medium range to the Gazani. Alright, I will get my ticket. One red. Yep. Yeah, take uh, it. Can't scatter. I'll take it. Alright, nailed it. Alright, cool. So you got a TRC then? No, I'm going to keep that. So now I've got to move. Yep. So you. He's speed three. Yes, he is. All right, so during his movement, he's going to go Jerry. Yep. Yeah, double click it. One. Yep. Take it on the re. Yeah, yep. on the re. Yeah. Come on. Fly. Yep. Next to Ozzel. Hi, Ozzel. Oh, no. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Boo on all of this. Uh, Taking a bit. Man, this game is actually like really close. Um, I really needed Insidious to hang on for like just one damage. Like if it went down this turn, I didn't care so much because what I what I really wanted was that like medium range, you know, 
take four black that you weren't expecting. And actually do the insidious one. It's actually do insidious one is four, <laughs> and it didn't happen. And so now it's like, all right, I killed the radar, and I'm probably going to kill Jerry, but I've lost insidious, and then like my demolisher's hurting a little bit already, and his demolisher is hunting me, which is bad, which is really bad. Um, we'll see how we go. Because he's got the Arcadence hunting me as well, which is also bad. Oh, let's just let's just see how we go. <laughs> let's just play it by ear, Ken. There's not much more you can do than that. All right, so we're gonna go with the naked Gazanti going to reveal a navigate command, which I'm gonna take as command. I am, however, gonna use my squadron token to activate a squadron. I'm going to activate this defender and jump to here, so I'm out of Suntia range. Yep. And then I'm gonna shoot car runner. So two black, two black, two blue. Come on, show me three damage and an accuracy. Three damage, no accuracy. Uh, I was kind of that. Shocking. Truly shocking. All right, that's uh, that's that squadron. Uh, then the ships. So I've got a blue dice from my front to his rear. I'm gonna peck you to death. One blue. Take one damage. I will uh, make you reroll. Watch me roll a crit. Uh, it's one damage still. Oops. 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 Uh, I will redirect them. Which side? To this side here. Uh, to the far side. Yep. All right. And yeah, I'm currently at speed one. But I have a navigate, which I really should have banked as a token. Oh well. Let's get the double lock on, Ken. Let's get. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump to speed to not getting my double arc, but I'll, I'll follow him up. I'll being up. chased. He's being chased by a flotilla. What could possibly go wrong? Just two of them. <laughs> just all that blue dice action. <laughs> all right, you're right. So we're going to go with Demolisher. It's going to reveal a nav command. We're going to take a very, very long range shot into the rear yep. of Demolisher. So two red. So two red. Yep. Two damage. Two damage. What a, what a jerk. Uh, I'll dodge one and I'll redirect one to my first side. Yep. Yep. Now I've got to move. We're going to go with a Jerry move, so he gets two clicks on one. So we're going to take a shield. So he's going to take a shield. Do I have any on my rear? Yeah, you have one on your rear. Yeah, well, we'll go to this side because this side's got two. Yep. So it's got one all, one all around at least. Yep. So speed three first. It's going to go down there. Yep. And then just move him slightly a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Some tool. We're going to engine tech. Yep. Over here. Yep. And then we're going to demolish my side to his rear. Yep. So for black. Alright, do, do me a favor, roll pants. Yeah. Roll pants. That's not that great. So three damage right, and so a blank. Gonna... Here are those. Yeah. Okay, roll pants again, Dan. That's better. That's better. You still get an so APT. still three, but I will APT. So I will declare a brace and I will. Two? Yep, and I'll burn a redirect. Um, but APT is. Pull and discharge. Oh, that's huge. Only one attack you perform each round can target shield. That's something. That's big. Uh, so then I take one shield and then another face down. So I'm on three. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm hurting. All right, so we go with Ozul. Ozul's revealing a squadron command, which I'm going to take. So relay two. Uh, hmm. I only relay these two. All right. Um, this guy's in range of Power Runner, so I'm going to use him. Is he in range of I believe he would have been, so I'm going to take the damage. And I'm going to shoot Power Runner, so you get your defense tokens. So two black, two blue. Oh, yep. Uh, take four. Yeah, that's scatter that. Burning and scatter? Yep. Um, so then I'm not locked up here, so I'm going to activate this guy and jump him to there. Yeah. And we're gonna shoot her again. So come on, three damage and an accuracy. Mm. One damage, no brace. She will take one. Yep. Alright, uh, then I gotta move. Oh, I gotta shoot and I gotta move. So one blue, side to side. One crit. Mm -hmm. I'll just redirect that to the front. Yep, so redirect. Yep. 
Yeah. So then I'm at speed three. Where are you going, Ozzel? Uh, where are you going, Ozzel? I think I'm just going to look if I can bump it so much. I think I'm just going to let you ram me, to be honest. That's fine. And then if I've done this right... Yeah, so you don't have side... I was more worried about side arc, to be honest. Yeah. So. Alright. Yeah, that's it. Right. So we're going to go with Jerry before he dies a very horrible death to Demolisher. He's going to reveal a navigate. Yep. I was hoping to get a side arc, but unfortunately it's just out, so we've only got one blue to his front. It's like, damage is damage. Let's roll take, some, take some shield, shall we? So take one to the shield. I can do nothing about this. Is that one shield? Did I just do one? Yep. Yep. Two. Uh, no other shots, so I can proceed to move. Yep. So he's got. Okay, I can't do I can't. that. I have to do it from this side. So he's going to Jerry. Get extra two clicks on one. Use his nav, use the second on the third click and a normal click on two. So we might just need you to lift up the marsha so I can get this down cleanly. Yep. He's there. Whoop. Speeds up over there. Yep. He will take that damage. Oh, that's relevant. Ah, to the rear. I mean, he's going to die to the marsha anyway. Fair. <laughs> All right, there he is. That's speed three. All right, so I'm going to go with Vector. Vector is going to reveal a squadron command. I'm actually just going to activate one of them, and that one is going to be uh, Saber Squadron. So Saber... Saber is going to jump to here. And he's... That is the obstructed target... Um, Snipe, it does, doesn't it? Yep. Alright, screw you then. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to come here and I'm going to target some too far. So, just show me two damage, two accuracies. Take three. He will scatter. Scatter, yep. Um, and then I'm going to... So, if we have a little medium to... I'm going to medium. Oop. I'm going to medium your front with my side. Yep. Why not? So one blue, take one. He will spend his evasion to make it real. Take nothing, sir. Good yes. use of your evasion techniques. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to flack out my rear. So one on Hellrunner. Yep. Hey! One. Yep. Can't do nothing. Just going around. So yep. Nice. So Suntir. Yep. yep. One. one. Yep. Uh, Sienna. Oh, no. Uh, it takes nine. Takes yeah, 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 yeah. Do anything. God, I hate you so much. Um, and Mola. Take nothing. Alright, so it's just so those two. Yeah, so she's down she's to one, one, and he's on two. He's on two. And then I move at speed three. Ugh. Done. So uh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, today. Alright. With the generic Kazani, he's going to reveal a navigate uh, out of range to shoot demo, so he's just going to speed up to three and go for it. Right next to him, because thankfully he can only shoot one ship at two. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's fine. Fine. I'm not, I'm not crying. It's all right. And he's done. Alright. Alright, uh, so, so now we're going into the squadron phase. Uh, I'm just going to move Jendon to here. And Jendon is going to... Oh, let's not be in range of Suntir, actually. So Jendon's just going to activate this guy. He's Does he have rope? Yeah, yeah, I can activate. No. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I'll just stay where I am. You're correct. Thank you, Dan. I'm going to stay where I am, and I'm going to pass that off to this guy who's in 1 to 2, who was in range of Howlrunner before, and he's going to shoot Howlrunner. Yep. So, two black and two blue. Don't fail me now. No, she does. Ooh, Ooh. That would have been great on, was, like... Was, that would have yeah. been great on Suntier. That's a dead Suntier. Fuck. <laughs> um... And then I'm not in range of Suntir, but I am unfortunately in range of both Sienna Re and Mola Mithil. Um, but I will just Marek... Oh, wait. Oh, damn, I can't even grit. God. <laughs> so, because someone pointed out I have that. Alright, so Marek's just going to target Mola. And you can take three, which uh, you just, just going to scatter. scatter. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I would do that. 
Uh, so you're out of range. Yep, and then you're three. So Suntir is in range of this guy, but not in range of Mac. Not in range of Mac. Alright, let's go with Sienna first. So four with a reroll. Into Mac. Yep, who has two braces. Yep. Two. So two, swarm. Swarm. Yes. So just two. So I'm going to brace and take one. So just take one. Take one. And then Waller is going to shoot, I'm guessing. Yeah. Three. So three. So three with a reroll. Uh, two. Uh, ooh. Um, I'm just going to target the red. No, sorry, the green. The green one? Yeah. Green I was like, why, why are you going to target the red one, Dan? Yeah, I will Color burn one. it. And so take one. Take, take one. Yep. Then yep. It's gonna activate targeting. That guy. Him. So he's four, four, but no rerolls. Yeah. He just needs three. He can do that, right? Ooh, Ooh almost. It's almost. Man with a reroll. He's got two. Yeah. So I'm down to one. And that's it. That's the turn. And then he, so he drops to two. two. Yeah. Okay. Start of turn four. This is what the board state looks like. My three are holding strong, they can hold it. And no surprise, it's gotta go with Demo, otherwise Demo dies. Demo is gonna reveal a navigate, which he's gonna take as a command. Uh, so because of the crit, I can only target one attack against the ship. So one of them's gonna be flak, so um, Sienna doesn't matter, even though she's in range. So one on Mauler, for nothing. Yeah, nice. And one on Suntir, for one. He will uh, he'll scatter that. So he's going to scatter that. Sweet, that's actually, that's well done, Demolisher. He's on two. He needs, gonna, needs to live. I thought you were going to intel that. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me this now, Ken, you piece of shit? All right, and, and then... All blanks. All blanks. All right, so four black into the rear of Jerry. No, he dies. No, he dies. He dies. Take, take four. So, no crits, just four. One, two, three... Four, and Jerry goes goodnight. Uh, Jerry, him and all that crew, they had families, you know. Hey man, Insidious had families too, man. You tell that to the SSS Jerry. That <laughs> SSS man. The SS Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's all right, so with my navigate, I'm going to drop to speed two. I'm going to inside turn and like use the extra click at the one. That. And then I'm going to obviously uh, engine tech. Let's not fly off the board. Oh man, we're playing with fire again. We're playing with fire. Like that. Can you pick up those two damage? Yeah, pick up them. <laughs> pick them all up. <laughs> all right, we're going to go with my demolisher. He's going to reveal a nav command, which he will take. Uh, first, we're going to anti squad out the side. So, this is obstructed and this is out of range. So, so we've so got just these three. Do the important one first. Do the, the important one, one first. Come on, with, with Danny. Yes! Yes! <laughs> so this one over here. That'll of course hit. That, that'll of course hit the guy. And saver. No, are you in range of saver? No. Is he in range? No. No? No, you're just out. Look. That's, that's uh, can me. we make that on the one day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan. No, we can't. No. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, so now with his command, he's going to drop to speed two. Yep. Getting the extra click on the one. Yep. This is going to be tight. He's going to fly over there. Yep. And then engine tech. Yep. Getting double push. <laughs> Try to get behind. Demo. Yep. I think that's just. Oh. I reckon you're just in. I reckon we call that. Oh, that is. Oh, man. Is that, on, car is that on cardboard, though? Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, Try to. I, I reckon we can say it. I reckon it's. Actually, but yeah. like a bee's dick. Alright, cool. <laughs> two black, two red. Look, look, demo was gonna die. Alright, guys. Alright, demo was always gonna die. Just not soon enough. Just, yeah. Wait, so, am I getting four black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Don't, don't screw me uh, harder. So two, right. two black. Uh, two damage. Right, hang on. Probably reroll that one. Yeah, reroll that one. I wish you hadn't rerolled that one. <laughs> uh, one in sex bet, that one. Yeah, there's no reason not to. So four. Right, so four with APTs. So I'll break. Oh, that kills me. I brace to two. I take an APT. The APT is crew panic. Doesn't matter. And I go. Bam. Also, I've been forgetting. Oh wait, that was on Insidious. Insidious died. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to pass me Demolisher? Demolisher. Gladly. Oh man. Was that a joke? Was that a pun? Yeah. Gladly. <laughs> <laughs> that's really lame. I don't know how I feel about that, man. <laughs> um, 
this is bridge too far, man. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting now. All right, so we're going to go with Vector. Vector's reeling squadrons. I really wish Intel Officer, uh, Intel, Veteran Captain Ken had told me about my Intel Officer, because it would be great. Uh, so I'm going to activate Saber Squadron. He's going to target Sunti and Fell. Yes, Snipe. No counter, sir. No counter. God damn it, you shouldn't have this. God damn it. Ah. That's fine, I'm just going to roll it. Yeah, this is. Mm. And take a uh, swarm. Because uh, the mother is in range. Yep. Ah, oh, jerk. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah, take one. Take one. All right. Um. I still think it's probably best for me to do it this way because I really need him to die. So I'm going to Colonel Jendon and we're going to shoot Sunti again. Mm -hmm. And that kills him. Oh, brace. You brace, you take one, you die. Yay, Saber Squadron! Killing counter heroes since for fucking ever. <laughs> Because uh, yeah. then I shouldn't be in range. I shouldn't be in range of her. We've been bumping a lot of shit. We've had a lot of shit move around. Uh, that's two. Yep. I've got no flacker of any kind, so I just got to move. Well, at least I know I'm, I can't get tabled <laughs> because this guy's gonna survive. Uh, so he's going here, but I'm feeling less confident about my position because a lot of stuff is dead. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Alright, we're gonna go with my generic Kazani. He's gonna reveal a nav which he will take his command. So he's out of flak range. Out of flak range. And he's out of squadron command range as well. Yeah, no, no booster comms there unfortunately. But So we go straight to the moving. I'm gonna spend his nav to get an extra click on the three. Mm hmm. He's gonna bump that just a little bit. Yep, that's fine. Yep. And end up over there. Cool. Awesome. Alrighty. Yeah, that done. But I don't want to because I need Ozzel. All right, look, look, let's just go with the generic Ken. Let's, we're not going to have a let's think about this. <laughs> we're going to go with the generic. What are you thinking? Generic's going to reveal a squadron command, so we're going to, of course, jump back over to the squadrons. Uh, I'm going to activate this guy on six. He is going to jump to... Fucking hell. They're all bad. Can I get into range one without being a double arc? Yes, yes I can. Alright. So I'm going to do that. So I'm in double... Uh, not in double, but... Do I have Mola? Does Mola have his, all his scatters and shit still, Dan? Oh, yeah. Do you want to get him out for me? So I can shoot him. Yeah, so I'm out. Alright, so two black and a blue. Show Papa three damage and... An accuracy. That'd be great. Three damage, no accuracy. Oh, look, uh, this is familiar. Uh, scatter. Scatter. Shocking. Alright, uh, we're then going to do the guy on five. And he's going to jump over to here. Let's see if I can't do the same. Yeah, so you can do it like that. So he's going to do the same trick. Yep. And come on, accuracy. Three damage and an accuracy. All right. A little accuracy. The whoop. There's no reason not to. Ah, accuracy the scatter. Okay. Brace, take two. Yep. So he's down to one. So he's down to one. All right. Done. All right. I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. One blue. You take one. Can make, you can't make me reroll it. You're just going to take it? Just take it. Uh, All right. And then I'm speed two, which basically, I believe... Oh, I could avoid it. I could, maybe. I don't think I want to. I'm going to ram you. <laughs> so I'm going to ram, and I take a damage face down. It's still risky. It could still technically kill me. I squish great. you in the rid and... And a hit crit. Yeah, and then you got to get a structural. <laughs> it's still plausible, though. It's, it it's not, It's not like, out of this world crazy. It's just statistically unlikely. Right, next, we got the Architeam here. He's going to reveal a nav. Yep. To take out his command. Yep. So we've got only the fronts and rear because he was able to get out of my side arcs. Yep. So we'll do the rear yeah, first. Yeah. So we're adding the black to his front. Yep. Now let's see, what is it? An accuracy, accuracy hit, crit, hit crit, and, and then, then a structural. structural. Yeah. This could all happen. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it was close. I will scatter. No, no, yeah. no surprise. Uh, and now my front to his side. Yep. Just in close range. Eh, one. I'll scatter. Yay, scatter! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now we're proceeding to move. Yep. I think I'm going to drop down to 
speed two. Yep. I really gotta read it again. Get the extra click on just the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's been so long, I was just making it up. Oh, wow. Look at that for a fucking turn. He doesn't ram me. Holy shit, he's given me the double arc, though. It's tasty. It's tasty. I'll take it, Ken. I'll take any advantage I can get, man. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's do this. Alright, so Ozzel's going, Ozzel's going to navigate, which is going to take his command. Uh, Dan is helpfully giving me a double arc, so side arc into your rear. Of course. And front arc into your rear. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see, boys and girls! <laughs> Damn it, I really needed those two to hit. Because that's some really helpful shield damage. Alright, I'm gonna work out what Alright, so we're just gonna eyeball this because we're getting tired. Uh, so I'm gonna use my extra click at the one, staying at speed three. Or if I'm not at speed three, jump into speed three, because fuck yeah, Ozzel. And go on like that. Alright, so squadron phase, so I've already done the toggle for it, but Mac's gonna go, I really, I just need one accuracy. Come on, accuracy. There it is! Uh, I will Marrick, because that's awesome. And... Two. You die. Damn. Oh. Okay, um... Now you're probably gonna, like, destroy the shit out of me. <laughs> there. So I'm actually just going to... Uh, I really want to do this in such a way that I can keep him in relay range, <laughs> but I can't. So I'm just going to move him on the rock for now, and we'll see how things pan out. And then yep. you go. So Sierra into Merrick. So I only have one brace, so that is important. So four blue. Uh, four blue, no rerolls. No rerolls. But that's still very doable. Two damage and an accuracy. Uh, two yeah. damage and an accuracy. Two damage and two accuracy, so in case you had the two braces. So Merrick dies. Okay. That's it. That is it. Yeah, this is the top of turn five. This is what the board state looks like. Alright, so we're gonna go with Vector first. Shockingly, I'm revealing a squadron command. Uh, so I'm gonna activate Saber, who is helpfully within range two. So three blue. Oh, actually, no. Let's do this. Oh god, I hate you, Sienna. You're such a piece of shit. Alright. Wait, I can't do you. Alright, so with Jen and with Relay, I'm gonna activate this guy in six. He's going to gub to here. <laughs> Tie her up. <laughs> He's the sacrificial lamb. Uh, so we're gonna go a black and two blue into Sienna. Uh, and I'll target your scatter. So you take one. You're taking one. Yep. And I will count for two. Count for two. No rerolls though. So, no. Alright, that was definitely worth it. So then uh, I will, as I said, I'll activate Saber, but now yes, Swarm. She has, I don't actually know where she is. Um, so three blue with a reroll. Oh, come on, come on, come on, accuracy. Ooh, three damage. She will. She, she, yeah, of course she's gonna scatter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you take one and take that's one. it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so for my movement, I'm just gonna go one and one, speed three. Gee, I might fly off the board if I'm not careful. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. We're gonna go with the Arkitin. Arkitin is really a map command, which we'll take. Uh, we've got close range from my front to his rear, and we also have long range from his side to his front. So we'll do. This is the front first. Go for it. So, front, one red, one black. Oh, oh, there you go. Thank you, Scatter. <laughs> and now my side. So three red. He's front, three red. Jesus. So even if I get an accuracy, he's still bait the other. Yeah, that's true. But rather you didn't get no accuracies, which you haven't. And I'll just TRC to make you use it. Alright, I will definitely be scattering that. Yep. Now going speed two. Yep. Yeah. Use your speed at all. So, but I think that's With his command, he's going to get speed three, get extra click on one. And just fly in front of him. Which only gives you that front arc this time. Uh, maybe. Have a look. Someone get a tool. 
So yeah. someone help me out. I'm, I'm leaning across the table here. No, I think it's out. Yeah, it's out. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're gonna go with the naked Kazanti. It's revealing a squadron command. So I'm going to go with Colonel Jenden, who is going to move to here, I think, or wherever I can get to. That's in three of both. Yeah. So like there. And Jenin's going to use his power to make Sun, um, Saber go off again. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on, do it. Do it. Nope. So, two damage. Two damage. Oh, and he's still got... He's yeah. out of range. So. No, he's not. Relay's there now. Relay's there now. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to gamble this and just brace. Ooh, so you take one. You're down to one. All right. Come on. Come on, buddy. Do it for me. So this defender is obviously going to fly in. He's going to just jump over. So one black, two blue. Come on, show me that accuracy. Oh, three damage. Yeah, he's going to burn the scatter. Scatter, yeah. I, oh. I get a counter though this time. You do. Counter two. Take one. So take one. And that's that. Then I just got to move. So... I'm a space away. Uh, there you go. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Crowd, you decide. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. All right. That's fine. Oh, jeez. So with the Ghazani, he's going to reveal a map. Yep. He's going to use his token for once throughout the whole game and actually activate the squadron. So I'm guessing you're going to target the guy that's on four? Uh, yeah, best chance. Best chance. Four dice, no rerolls. Four dice, no rerolls. Don't you fucking do it, Dan. I just need four hits, right? One. I'll take one. One. I'll take one. <laughs> and anti squad out the side. So everyone Black. out the front's out of range. Yep. All right, I'll take nothing. Well, I need to do six damage. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, every little bit counts, all right? <laughs> uh, here is speed three at the moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just dying here. Probably go to speed two, get the extra click on two. Yep. See that? Yep. Oh man. Yeah. Look, let's let's put it there. Okay, let's put it there. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to be doing. All right. Uh, don't, all right. So I'll have to go because all I got left is really a navigate, which I'm going to take as command. One blue, uh, front to rear. Yeah, one damage. If only I'd fucking done that two I'll, times. Uh, in a row. I'll redirect that to. Look, me. you'd have no shield. You'd be taken whole. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad. All right. In this game of leapfrog that we're playing. Uh, wait, I can't do that. I'm at, oh, I have a navigate. What am I talking about? I can. That's why I did it. So navigate using the extra click at the one and there. So gee, I wonder what will be going first for me next turn. <laughs> Is that the zone? Yeah, yeah, it's that one. It's that one in the corner. That's not threatened by anything. That's the one. You heard him first. He nailed, he nailed me. I, I can't. I can't fight that sort of logic. Right, so we're gonna go with the Morsha. It's gonna reveal a nav. First, let's do the anti-squad, the shuttle. Is there anything in range? I take one. I take a damage. Now we got to move. So with the extra click, we're going to put it on two. It's like, it's like everything is hunting me. Move up to there. Then engine tech up to there. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I don't to think you are. I'm, I'm not upset about that. <laughs> Squadrons. Right. I sit. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn six of this slog fest. This is the last round. This is what the board state looks like. This has been a rough one. I can't imagine how I'd be doing if I hadn't rolled God tier on them squadrons. I'd be screwed. This would be this would be Dan's game by a fucking mile. So shuttles. If you lose the shuttles, I reckon. Yeah, if you didn't lose your schedule, this is this is shuttles early. This is a white. This is the easy one. I'm going with Osler. Osler is revealing a squadron command. Uh, so I'm going to jump over. So I am. All of these are in range of relay. So Saber's just going to jump out, essentially. And then three blue. Because Sienna is a bitch. And I hate her. <laughs> In the Sienna. Uh, she's only got brace. Yep. So she dies. 
Oh, I'll brace it. Uh, 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 I'll uh, yeah, I'll you brace it and you take two, but she dies, which is really important. Uh, we're then going to go this guy on six, and he's going to jump in the front. Yep. And one blue. Take one. I'll take it. All right. All right, and that's it. All right, now I need to move. Oh, yeah. Can I land on the asteroid? No. No. Oh, wait, I can't do that. Oh, oh come on, even to the structure, we still live. It's not about that, Dan. All right, I need to eat. This is my best. Oops. This is my best move, so one and one. Up to there. I am totally still in range. Fuck a duck. I was all, like, jumped onto the Yeah, stage. I was all jumped on top. All right, well, I wonder what's going to be going. <laughs> so I'm going to do the Gazzani. Right. I was going to do a squad, hopefully get Sienna to do one last shot, but um, I'll just bank the token. That's fair. Uh, maybe for the future. Yep. Uh, we're just going to anti-squad in every direction. That looks reasonable. Do the one on three. It's a moral victory. <laughs> <laughs> one on three? Sure. And hey. one damage. And then Jen and is your best. Yeah, why not? Let's do one on Jen. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, another one damage. There it is. And now I am flying at speed two. Yep. I can't kill you. So I'm he's just going to... He's just going to fly up. There. Bam, done. Alright, so we're gonna go to generic. Generic's gonna be able to score your command. So I can't actually kill anything. Bomb me. But I'm, I'm still gonna bomb him on principle because, you know, fuck him. So we're gonna go here. Uh, blue. Take one. Yeah, he'll scatter. That's kind of what I thought would happen. Alright, and then the guy on one is gonna come here. And. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Take it, I can't use scatter them. You can't, yeah, you can't, you can't scatter them. Alright. Alright, All right, that's that done. That was easy. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm just gonna go like this. So, one and one. Flying away. Getting out of this. Oh, totally still in that dangerous side arc. Whatever. It's oh, fine. I got the so we're going to go with Demolisher, doing a nav. We're going to see if we can catch up to Ozzel. It's going to be a bit hard, but... So we're going to boost up to speed 3. Yep. See whether I'm right. Or I might. I might. So put that in. Goes a 3. And then maybe if we do that, there's an engine yeah, tech. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep. That'll engine do it. tech to there. And that should be unobstructed. Let's see. Yeah, it's just unobstructed. And he's in range. Here we go. We got two red. Oh, please, 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 RNG, Jesus, save me. Save me. Two red. Save me. Oh, I will Ooh. dodge that. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's probably better, that's the better thing. choice. Yeah. So that's him done. All right, last one. Vector revealing a squadron command. Uh, I'm just gonna we're gonna activate Jenden. He's gonna fly here. He's gonna make this guy shoot him again. Nice. The same squadron in my head failed me twice. So no scatter. No scatter. You can't scatter. Yeah. And then uh, speed three, just doing an inside turn to stay on the board. And that's me. That's done. It's everything. All right. Now it just comes down to the architect, really. Sort of plan this right at the end. He's yeah. doing a concentrate. Oh, I was afraid he'd say that. <laughs> so we've got long range there, and I think we've got long range, which doesn't really matter because you just. No, come on, do it, do it, Dan. Do it, Dan. Do it, Dan. Make you use it. Yeah, make me use it. One red in the rear. Uh, uh, I'll TLC you know, that. I'll dodge it. Yeah. All right, so four red. All right, into the side. Four red. I just need one accuracy to help me. Please do not do that, Dan. So four red. Do not do the thing you just um, spoke of. Oh, yeah. I'm yes! Right. Yes! There is no accuracy in this land. Do it. TRC. Yeah. Five. And I scatter. Yep. And then you move. And then I move. Not that it really matters. And I get like a bump just to... Well, actually, no, I can't because it's about turning of that. I land on the station to refuel. Yeah. You're, yeah, do yeah. you're docking. I'm docking. All right, and that's a science job. It killed the insidious and chased them down. Yeah, no, it did a pretty good job. All right, and that's the end of this blood game. It's a really good game. Dude. That was good. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be really close. How much are your squads? Right. So, at the end of the game, I was able to kill the Molochar and Insidious. A, this is just a generic. You didn't kill why, any of my... Why is that? Uh, yeah. right, so at the end of the game, I was able to destroy Insidious and Demolisher. Squadron-wise, a generic advance. 
Man of Steel and Vader, which was a total of 220 points. So at the end of the game, I was able to kill uh, Jerry on his flotilla wagon, the Raider with Talus, and then a buttload of squads, well, all of his squads. So Maul of Mythal, uh, Sienna Re, Howl Runner, Sun Tiafel, Dengar, and two Lambda Shuttles for a, wait for it, total of 221 points. <laughs> All right, so as we sort of revealed, uh, it was a 1.65 victory, 221 to 220 my way. Um, I'm going to let you dive right in. What did you think went well, didn't go well? What didn't go well was the shuttles dying straight away. That really hindered the squadron phase. It's pretty good for me. I'm not... It was good for you, not really so good, good for me. <laughs> What went good for me is, surprisingly, Jerry getting the Ark to swing back left oh, no, to no, go no. for Insidious and try to chase down those two um, Gazantis. Yeah. And obviously Demo coming in your rear. So that was that was good for me. That was the only really two major ones. But yeah, Jerry with the Ark I reckon that could be a thing. Yeah. Really um, good thing. Anything bad other than the shuttles? No, uh, I think it's pretty much I don't think so. Yeah. Um, Jerry survived a bit longer than I expected. Uh, the squadrons lasted right to the last turn, which held you up. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> I hate scatter heroes. Uh, and it wasn't all of them. I didn't bring all seven of them. <laughs> oh, God. He's done that to me before. Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in. Uh, things that were good. So I sort of um um an ard. Um, he just has obscene range with like Sienna Re and some TFL, and I don't have Intel either, so. I really couldn't afford to let him get that first strike, as I sort of said, and especially after I was like, oh, he has expanded and relay four, and he's going to just command four of them, and so he's going to command all of them in one turn. If he, if, I think if Dan had pulled that off, um, I would have lost a bunch of squads. It would have gone more like, because I'm activating more than you. Exactly. And then it just, like, the alpha strike is just so important. I think targeting the shuttles actually was a really good idea. As we kind of showed, scatter heroes just suck. Um, I faced Dan a lot as I sort of bitched about. I played Dan a lot and so we've got a pretty squadron heavy meta and so Dan um, Dan just knows that people are going to take squadrons so Dan just goes, cool, here's six scatter heroes and like some stuff. Um, and they're just so frustrating because I think most people deal with squadrons by taking the average dice. Like alright, if I take Invader it's going to be like 3.25 so well, whatever. But the problem is, is you, you can totally, like, I had so many ones there where I rolled like three damage, it's a great roll. But then you get back. I just, I just you, go just, scatter. you just go scatter, and with that many of them, it just hurts. Like because killing any of them is just such a pain. Yeah. Um, so killing those shuttles early was huge because if he had honestly a turn of like full command, I mean, it really you really didn't get probably, to command them. It really. probably Saber. Oh, oh, oh Saber! Oh, nice. You were double tapping him, which meant that if yes. the others had to come in, I would have probably count of three or four because of Dangar, Howl Runner. Exactly. Saber helped you a lot in that one. Saber is in, yeah, he's two from two. Saber has just been amazing because, yeah, just ignoring counter. Like, it was the same problem earlier with IG-88 that I've had before, but, like, he's just so cheap. And with Jen and he's just so good. Like, Saber has been my MVP. Like, it's just, if they've got counter, Saber is your hero. <laughs> um, so, yeah, killing that early was great. Um, oh, and my radar. Yes. Getting rid of the Raider with Fletcher and Really? Was that was huge, because I would have lost the squadron war without that. I okay. think um, I think if Ken had been helpful, <laughs> or if I'd been smarter, <laughs> and um, I really didn't think hyperspace would be that bad, and then when he dropped it in, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be bad. And it sounds really dumb, but you sort of get in this mindset of like, yeah, I can deal with this, I can deal with this. And then when it pops out, it's just, oh, that's where it is. That's where it is, and I can't deal with this. And I actually think I would have been better off taking Most Wanted. And he would have put it on demo, and then he would have put it on his, like, cheap Gazanti. But then I can see where everything is on the board, and I had, I had way more deployments than you. Um, even if you had that... would have been... Oh, yeah, you would have more, because you had the extra squadron. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, yeah, we would have been... But point is, like, we would have seen... Yeah. I would have seen where he was, and I could react to it. Whereas, once my lines sort of move forward, and you just go, cool, demo's here. It was sort of like, ah, oh, crap, I can't deal with this. And I tried to get cute, and I was just like, yeah, I'll put Insidious here. And then I didn't think it through. I was like, when I was planning it, I was like, yeah, he's got four activations. Not sort of remembering that you, when you deployed, you would have five. Yeah, and so I was like, yeah, sweet, I'm out of close range. Look, this is great. And then I was like, yeah, look, Dan's messed this up. And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm not out of close range of him. He's out of close range of me. <laughs> and that's the problem. Yeah. Um, and thanks to Jerry, able to pull back in. Yeah, exactly. Um, in, I really, I think for me, I needed Insidious to hang on for a turn because I needed just more damage on either the Architons, which is probably where I would have gone, or um, I mean, it really probably would have just done a double arc, like, probably. and just like even because if it hangs on, it probably blows away that Architons because it would have had double arc. 
Yeah, I can only redirect so many because it doesn't have brace. Exactly. Um, or even or even just like putting that damage on demo would have really helped. Um, would have meant those Gazantes later on shooting at the Architect would be much more right. threatening. Right, right. And then, so that was the other huge problem is like even though I got to jump on those scatter heroes, they just, I mean, they Sienna was there till the end, just like turn six. Right, right to the end. Um, and so even though like I had way more squadron points left on the board, and that allowed me to like get the one point, yeah, that one point win. <laughs> um, that one defender on one health. Yes, which is why I pulled it away. But in my head, I thought I was gonna clear you pretty much out by like turn four, and I was like, cool, I'm just gonna start like speed five. I'm just gonna come in, start bombing you, and I would have killed more stuff. But um, it didn't go that way. Uh, I actually was really fortunate to come away with even a one point win. I think if some dice swings don't go the way it went, uh, namely that squadron thing. That first turn squadron. I get what. How I, many hits did you do? Oh, uh, it was obscene. I think if we looked at it, I, I, pretty much, I think it was, well, it was, it was close to perfect rolling. Yeah. Um, and. Because Vader did like five again. Vader did five. five. Yeah. The defender did four. Yeah, it was pretty much perfect. Yeah. Um, without that, I mean, because basically by turn three, after that, I was sort of just like, okay, everything else just needs to hang. Like, I was in hang on mode. I was like, I have this lead, and now I need everything to stay alive. And I was just desperately like, I'm running demo away. I'm trying to keep Insidious alive. You know, I got lucky that my Gazantes didn't go down. If he pulled one accuracy, I just needed that one accuracy. One accuracy somewhere. TRC a double and even if one damage gets through with a, an evade, that's still one less damage I have to do on right. top of it. And I could have dead rammed, I could have right. a double arc. And I was trying to I was trying to be like I was trying to do this smart thing, so often it seems really like people are really wary of with those three whole ships of leaving them in position to get rammed. But if you haven't activated yet and you let your opponent ram you, they're gonna be stuck where they are yeah. and then you just run away. That's why I wasn't ramming. And that's why I was not damn it, Dan, you're too you smart. Just fly away. <laughs> I know. So first activate, fly away. And every yeah. time, and every time I'd set it up so that he could do it, and every time he's just sort of looking at me steely eyed like, no, I'm not going to do this, Luke. And that like and that gave you those shots later on in the game, because mm. then, you know, I just couldn't escape that side arc. Um, so I just got fortunate. Uh, so that's the summary. I got lucky guys, alright, that's the summary, but it's still, the scoreboard is a win. <laughs> so key word today is luck. Luck, yes. If I have a feat, it was luck. Um, but sometimes that's what you need. It's a dice game. Uh, but I would definitely love to have Dan back on so that he can <laughs> like, justifiably kick my ass. Please do not bring Scatter Heroes. I'm so over you, uh, Scatter Heroes is my thing, but if I do come back next time, I'll see if I can do like a double wise. There we go. Everyone's been asking. Error. Bring me something crazy. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, Intel Officer Luke and... Moth Danny. Sad enough. Pam. Uh, Thanks, man.